Good day everyone, welcome back to Home Economics Online Class. Since we are done with the module 1, we are going to summarize it through activities. Okay, let's get started. Direction, identify and classify the following tools. So what you are going to do is in, in this activity is you have to identify if what tools is being flashed and classify whether it is whether it is a drafting tools measuring tools or sewing tools the first picture is okay so what do you think is this what tool is this so the answer is french curve so french curve is classified as yes very good drafting tools next picture next picture is what we call a yes amazing thimble so thimble classified as sewing aids then the next picture picture that we have is what we call the tape measure so tape measure is classified as measuring tools then the next picture that we have is scissors. So scissors is an example of, yes, very good. Scissor is an example of cutting tools. Next, write through if the statement is correct and false if it is not. Question number one. French curve is used to form the hip line and other areas of garment that need to be curved. French curve is used to form the hip line and other areas of garments that need to be curved. Is it true or false? So the answer is yes, false because French curve is not used to form the hip line but the correct answer is the hip curve. So hip curve is used to form the hip line and other areas of garments that needs to be curved. Next question number two. Sewing gauge is used to measure small hem areas and short distances like hem folds, seam allowance, buttonholes, pleats, and tacks. Number two. Sewing gauge is used to measure small hem areas and short distances like hem folds, seam allowance, buttonholes, pleats, and tops. Is it true or false? So the correct answer is true. Okay, very good. Next, number three. Buttonhole scissor is an example of marking tools. Buttonhole scissor is an example of marking tools. If it, it is, is it true or false? So the answer is false because Buttonhole scissor is not an example of marking tools but a cutting tools. Next question number four. Tracing well is an instrument with serrated edge well, well that produces dots on the fabric. Tracing well is an instrument with serrated edge well that produces dots on the fabric. So the answer is true. Okay, amazing. Next, number five. Threader is a diamond shaped wire attached to a handle and used to insert thread through the needle eye. Threader is a diamond shaped wire attached to a handle and used to insert thread through the needle eye. So the correct answer is through. Okay, very good. Next, enumeration. Name all the measuring tools used in sewing. Name or enumerate all the measuring tools used in sewing. So the measuring tools used in sewing are, we have first tape measure, ruler, sewing gauge, metal stick or yard stick. I'll repeat. Measuring tools used in sewing are tape measure, ruler, sewing gauge, 
and matter stick or yard stick. Next, name or enumerate all the marking tools used in sewing. Enumerate all the marking tools used in sewing. So what are those marking tools that we have? <clears throat> so we have the tracing well, tailor's chalk, and dressmaker's carbon paper. So the marking tools used in sewing are tracing well, tailor's chalk, dressmaker's carbon paper, tracing well, tailor's chalk, and dressmaker's carbon paper. Okay, next, enumerate. Enumerate all the drafting tools used in sewing. Drafting tools used in sewing are, we have first French curve, next L square, and then we have the hip curve. So the drafting tools that we have in sewing are French curve, L square, and hip curve. French curve, L square, and then hip curve. Next, enumerate all the sewing aids. What are the sewing aids that we have? So the first is pins, thimble, thread, pink cushion, and then we have the hand needles. Sewing aids, the pins, thimble, thread, pin cushion, and then hand needles. Okay, next, enumerate the types of sewing machine. Enumerate the types of sewing machine. So we have eight types of sewing machine. And what are those? So the first one is... Yes, that's right. So the first one is we have the lock stitch sewing machine. When we say lock stitch sewing machine, this is usually used in our homes. And of course, it is also called domestic sewing machine. The next one is we have the high speed lock stitch sewing machine. So high speed sewing machine or the high speed lock stitch sewing machine is sometimes called the straight stitching machine or the industrial sewing machine and then the third one is the over edging machine when we say over edging other companies call it small machine and the uh, uses of this is to finish the row edges of the pattern for construction next is we have the embroidery machine embroidery machine is used in making fancy stitches then we also have the button holder machine when we say the button holder from the word itself button holder meaning to say this type of machine is used in making button holes on garments then, the next is the button attachment machine. Button attachment machine is used in attaching buttons to the garments. Then, the next is the double needle machine. Double needle machine is used in the construction of the different kinds of clothing, especially for the inseam, outseam, and side seam. Then, the last one is we have the bar tucking machine. Bar tucking machine is used in reinforcing the opening and closing of packets. That's it for the types of sewing machines. So we have eight lock stitch sewing machine, high speed lock stitch sewing machine, over edging machine, embroidery machine, button holder machine, button attachment machine double needle machine and the last one is we have the bar tucking machine okay next fill in the blank fill in the blank number one lock stitch sewing machine is also called blank 
block stitch sewing machine is also called block. What do you think is the answer? So the answer is, yes, that's it. Domestic sewing machine. Remember that. Block stitch sewing machine is also called domestic sewing machine. Next question. Blank machine is used in making modern holes and garments. Blank machine is used in making modern holes and garments. What do you think is this? Anyone? Great! That's it. Button holder is the answer. Button holder machine is used in making button holes in garments. Next, number three. Blank machine is used in attaching buttons to the garments. Blank machine is used in attaching buttons to the garment. Yes, excellent. Button attachment machine. Button attachment machine is used in attaching buttons to the garment. Next, number four. Blank machine is used in making fancy stitches. Blank machine is used in making fancy stitches. So what is the answer? What type of machine is this? So the answer is embroidery machine. Excellent. Next, Number five, over edging machine is also called blank. Over edging machine is also called blank. So the correct answer is small machine. Over edging machine is also called small machine. Okay, next, parts of sewing machine. So in this activity, what you are going to do is you have to identify what parts of sewing machine does the picture shows so the first picture is what do you think is this anyone so the answer is great swooping next picture what do you think is this that's right that is hand wheel next what do you think is this? That's good. Power switch. Next picture. That is? Yes, exactly. That is a needles. Then, next picture is like a foot. What do you think is this? Yes, that is what we call the presser foot. And then, the last one. That is a feed dog. Very good. Next, choose the letter of the correct answer. Question number one. Which of the following parts of sewing machine holds the spool of thread? Which of the following parts of sewing machine holds the spool of thread? A. Bobbin binder spindle. B. Bobbin winder stopper. C. Spool pin. So what do you think is the answer here in number one? So the answer is, yes, letter C. Spool pin. Next, number two. It is used to control the length of the stitch. It is used to control the length of the stitch. A. Stitch length dial. B. Power switch. C. Reverse stitch lever. It is used to control the length of the stitch. A. Stitch length dial. B. Power switch. C. Reverse stitch lever. So the answer is letter A. Stitch length dial. Next number. Number three. It moves up and down with the needle. It moves up and down with the needle. A. Thread tension dial. B. Thread take up lever. D. Bobbin winder thread arm. So the answer is yes. Very good. Letter B. Thread take up lever. Next, number four. It holds the fabric in its definite place. It holds the fabric in its definite place. So here's the choices A. Needle clamp screw. B. Presser foot. D. Feed dog. So the answer is 
letter B. Press your foot. Next, number five. Parts of sewing machine that pulls the fabric. Parts of sewing machine that pulls the fabric. A. Feed dog. B. Needle. C. Press presser foot. A. Feed dog. B. Needle. C. Presser foot. So the answer is letter A. Very good. Letter A. Feed dog. Okay, that's all for module 1, dress making. I hope you understand our lesson. Thank you and God bless everyone.